Hey Trace, how are we all doing? Unfortunately a little bit late to the session, nearly 2am here and I've got IEGH up and TAPM. Alright, so pretty interesting. Uh, really not what to talk about here. Volume. No good, this is really ugly so I'm going to immediately go to TAPM. Okay, and I'll refer to the scans briefly as well. Uh, I think in my watch list I was talking about IEGH, I was also talking about my size as well. Interesting it if it got halted maybe on this TAPM. Uh, they're talking blockchain technology as well. A little bit of a dip by opportunity there, but nothing worth taking really. We in bed soon and I'll try and catch the market close as well. That's not a lot of sleep at all. <laughs> Okay, alright, RMGN. This one's, I'm going to bring this up because I like the volume. And we'll see the catalyst, we'll see the price action, we'll see what's going on. Try and keep this concise to the point. Up quite a bit. I'm mainly only focusing on dip buys as well. Just to try and focus myself and my energies and then. Once I've got consistent with that, move on to something else. Interesting little... I would have been looking for something up there, but it really didn't like that, and it's very interesting how it's just faded away. We'll see how this behaves close of market. CNET. Got the, got the one up. Try to stop. <clears throat> It's unfortunate, really, how I've. Normally, the dip buys I like to take in the first hour or so of the session, so this is not really applicable. It's interesting. Quite a lot of resistance. Well, it's sort of broken through resistance in the 730s. That's a catalyst. Uh, ChinaNet Online names a blockchain strategy. A lot of hype, which is good. That's what you want to buy into. You want to buy the hype, really. Sell it to the news. Uh, what else? It's moving a little bit. See that? What is that? R E Q. Keep this video to around five minutes. I wouldn't really call this a live trading, it's more just an overview of things and it's more me just looking at the opportunities that I've missed. This is very, I don't know if everyone's getting this, but this is untradeable when it's like that. It's strange how it's saying the volume is uh, 1.2 million shares. But, I mean, that looks like a very inactive stock and. Uh, yeah, not worth trading. Just looking at that, it's finding a little bit of base in the 675s. So, the plan is get up at 430 and see how things are closing out. There might be some news, especially on these blockchain stocks. <laughs> Pardon me. Uh, look, I've sort of gone over the big movers, really. These two, I'm not interested in just with the volume, I, I, and this one as well, just not, not interested at all. So, uh, what am I closing down? I'm going to close that one. TAPM, I'll close this one as well. Um, see, I don't mind how it sort of, it finds support there. I mean, this price section is indicative now of just heading sideways, but that could be something. Maybe let's press out. We'll see. CNET. I like CNET because of the volume. It's a little bit higher price though. Um, just trading with you know, ten grand paper trading account. We'll be attempting to uh, open up a short trader account soon. Hopefully tomorrow if I can get the wire transfer sorted. This is interesting. I mean, it almost looks like it wants to. 
you know, be a breakout, but we'll see. Anyway, I'm going to get this video up now, guys. CNET, RM, GN, uh, sort of stocks of interest heading into the close later this morning for me. Bye for now.